Hey there. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this piece that I've been working on. Uh, the painting is six feet by eight feet. It's one of the larger canvases I've done in a while. Um, the content is um, based on an Osage warrior named Tali. Uh, this is a, uh, that's appropriated from a George Catlin draw, uh, painting that he did of an Osage warrior. I think in 1835 and uh, the bur oak tree uh, which is one of the largest bur oak trees in the nation that's currently going through some really rough times um, here in the outskirts of Columbia so the bur oak tree is kind of really near the river and so uh, we've got a landscape at the bottom and as we go Further to the top, we're gonna we're gonna move towards a uh, almost a satellite view, and I'll talk some more about the content and everything later. But I just want to talk about like first I just gridded it, and now I'm using the uh, just a burnt sienna, burnt umber, uh, to kind of get everything in loosely. I've got a really nice setup with the easels here. I'll show you how that works in a minute because it is a large painting that, uh, and I don't have too much room, too much ceiling height. So I've got these pegs set up and, well, let me show you real quick what it looks like behind here. So really what has been engineered by my dad, who's currently at home uh, with COVID my my mom and dad both have it, so but they're they're holding in there right now. But what he's done is he's taken two of these easels and he's built uh, one big easel by putting a brace between these, and then I could raise lower and raise it through these nice knobs down here. I'll show you how I do that here. <clears throat> It's a weird time. We're all going through our own things. So if I want to raise it, you can just take it, raise it up. I'm going to go from side to side. Got these really nice twist handles in the back to raise and lower it. And I've got the stoppers at the very top so I don't hit the ceiling. I got some paint in my hand. I got a rag somewhere. This really doesn't matter. All right, so I've got a crate, a little milk carton crate that I can sit on with a nice pad on top for my buttocks. So I can sit down and I can do the bottom. What I really need to do probably is get like a, some rollers so I can kind of roll along the ground, but it's not completely necessary at this point. I've got a nice chair for I can roll, roll, roll around pretty easily. And uh, one of these nice stools where your entire foot can sit on top. So I can, I can get up pretty high here and, can paint pretty easily and be comfortable because my whole foot is on the top. So, and let me show you this because I got I got one more minute. I mean, it's been one more minute. Let me just show you. So, <clears throat> when I'm working, some of you may have seen this. This is my uh, prototype painting for this larger painting. Here's my grid that I've printed. Here's just some uh, reference photographs that I've used. So I built this little ledge on top here. Now when I'm painting and I want to paint maybe some of the detail of the bur oak tree, I've got it right there. So I could just kind of look and paint. And then if I want to do any testing, maybe I want to do, test some, some of the colors that I'm using. I can take my painting, prop it up just like that. If I'm working on the lower part, I got it so I can do it like that. And that way I have all my reference material around. As far as the paint is concerned,
here's an old palette. I don't want to pick up the new one because it's a mess. But you can see I've just worked white to burnt sienna to burnt umber, white to yellow ochre to raw umber, and a white to a black. So I could work with my values that way, and I've just got my basic colors here. And then once I get that layer down, then, uh, then I can start putting some more color on top of it. And so I can kind of go back and forth and make sure that everything's, uh, everything's where it needs to be. So that's where I am on this, at this point in time in this piece uh, that I'm going to call atonement. And I'll explain that later on. Everybody hang in there. You know, stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, and uh, let's just uh, try to stay positive.